Okay, now we'll have a look at an overview of Adobe Illustrator. So, first of all, when Illustrator comes opens up, you should see this box or something like this. I'm currently using Illustrator uh, CS2 and you're only using CS, but it's basically the same. So, when you get a window that's similar to this, you obviously will want to either open a new document or open a document. So, I'll just create a new document. The next window we have is this one. Right? Now you should always get into the habit of naming your documents. So I'll just call that GeForce Illustrator. Okay. Now size, there are some standard size set. So I will set mine to A4 though, just for ease. The units is the type of measurements that you want to work in. I would suggest millimeters or centimeters millimeters being the better one all right and then it gives you the width and the height in millimeters or pixels or points or whatever the case may be all right. next thing you decide is the orientation which way you want your page to be so I want my page to be a portrait page a longer page now here's the important choice color mode do you want the document to be in CMYK color or RGB color now the difference being CMYK is anything you are going to be producing that the final outcome would be printed. So like a magazine or a logo for a, a shirt or something like that, right? Anything that requires printing. RGB is you're producing something that is only to go on the screen, nothing else. The two colour techniques are very different and you can see a big difference if you change halfway through. So. I'll just stick with CMYK now for the purpose of this. So I'll OK that. OK, so now it's created for me a window with my page. You can see this black line here. That is my page size. All right. I've got my toolbar over the left. I've got a few palettes already set up on the right. Main menu across the top. Uh, just below the main menu is like the options or properties of whatever tool I might be clicked on. So at the moment I'm clicked on the selection tool and therefore these are all the properties relating to the selection tool. If I change it to the type tool you'll see that the t selection has changed. Right? So there's all sorts of other properties I could have. If you have a properties window that like this one, the stroke, is collapsed down if I double click there it expands so I could see more of the features. If I wanted to do it another way, I could go to that little bubble in the corner with the triangle, hide options, show options, and that will expand or close the boxes for me. So that is really a very basic and very quick overview of Illustrator.